All right, Carlos, all you got to do is just say, talk to me while you're holding it. <laughs> say it. Talk to me. Let me in. Oh, shit. Carlos, you okay? You okay? Carlos. The Strangers was not a good movie. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the new one or the the prequel? The, the one before? The new one. Oh, shit. Hey, Slashers and Scream Queens. Welcome to the Horror Daddies Podcast. A podcast where we talk about horror movies? And the daddies in them. I'm sorry, guys. I usually say that I'm Jonathan and he's Carlos, but I don't know who the fuck this motherfucker is right now. I'm possessed. You're just possessed? Yeah. What's oh, your right, real name? Right to care. <laughs> I don't know. Has it been 90 seconds? I feel like a Daniel. I'm Daniel. <laughs> uh, Daniel, what is your sign? Aries? Just like Carlos? That's kind of boring. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, it's been 90 seconds. Give me, get him out. Daniel, get the fuck out, you bitch. Oh, Carlos. What? Are you okay? I'm, yeah. Did you see Daniel? Saw Henry Cavill. Oh. Yeah. How was he? Tall. <laughs> and muscular? Yep. Well, you weren't Henry Cavill. I'm going to tell you that. All right, one night with him. Or talk oh, with to Daniel? Me. Oh, talk to me? Oh, talk to me all okay. the time. Okay. But what movie did we watch today? Talk to me. Talk to me, baby. <laughs> talk to me, baby. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, I oh, forgot man. about that. That is so funny. <laughs> but this is also directed by Mike Danny and Michael Philip Philippou? Philippo, yeah. Philippo? Philippo yeah. or something. Philippo, yeah. written by them also with also collaboration from Daily Pearson based on a concept. So oh, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. So if you don't know the Raka Raka twins, obviously there were some YouTubers that did like super crazy videos. There were mm -hmm. incredible videos that mm -hmm. we used to watch just for fun. Yep. <laughs> That's how we bonded. Yep. Um, and they delve into the horror genre mm -hmm. with A24 with a crazy ass like well received movie yeah i must agree yeah i must agree had a budget of 4.5 million ended up making 92.1 million dollars so shit money baby it made it wait it made a lot of money baby and there's a sequel coming so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talk what they going to gonna me do too. with it i don't know they talk better not ruin it <laughs> it's called talk, talk to me also you know, some <laughs> movies just don't need sequels <laughs> yeah no not at all this one kind of ends that it could be like, oh, there's more to it. Yeah. And they, I don't know about you, but it left me with some questions. Okay. I didn't have any questions. I was just like, <laughs> like I got okay. the answers. Fucking cool. Okay. Sick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to go down the cast a little bit. So we got Sophie Wilde by, uh, playing as Mia. Yeah. Alexandra Jensen as Jade. Jade. Joe Bird as Riley. Riley. Otis Dah Dahanji as Daniel. Daniel. Uh, Miranda Odo as Sue. Sue. We got Zoe Tarak Tarakis as Haley. Haley. Chris Alosio as Joss. Joss. And Marcus Johnson as Max. Max. Oh, uh, and also we should say Alexandria Stephenson as Rhea. Not Rhea. Ripley. I almost thought it was her. <laughs> but you know what's funny? Hmm. The Australian names are way more simple than the movies we used to, you know. That's true. <laughs> I don't know why. Like I, I read these, I kind of killed it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's very true. It's like Sue. Yeah, like, like all right, sick. Thank you. It's not like <laughs> Wallace Malone Drea. Yeah, and hey, that's your name. That's okay. It's just hard for me to say. <laughs> just, I got an accent. <laughs> um, but yeah, talk to me. So, what did you think? I really love this movie. Mm -hmm. I think this movie is perfect. I like the characters, but they like in real life, you know, you kind of hate them a little bit and you get annoyed by them with their decisions. A couple of them. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's not even like bad decisions. Like they're stupid. It's mostly like they're acting like their age. Exactly. Because they're high schoolers. And it's like also like they're going through a lot. You can kind of understand. I feel mm -hmm. like the possession thing with the hand is kind of like a, a metaphor for drugs as well. Like, yeah, because it's kind of like their drug like mm -hmm. this is what they do for fun mm -hmm. and i can kind of be like okay i understand what's happening with these people yeah it feels like this movie is dealing with three things grief mm -hmm. depression drugs yep call that gpd gpd <laughs> i thought you were gonna say gps <laughs> no 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 that's sex yeah well, <laughs> no sex in this movie Whoa. No, they're sucking uh, they're sucking there's a lot of sucking that's an s uh, but i don't <laughs> 
It's not penis. I'll just say that. <laughs> yeah. So I really, I, I a lot of, I've, I've had friends that told me like, oh, it's, it's not, it's not scary, or mm-hmm. it was very scary. So I didn't know what to think about it. I didn't look at any reviews, nothing, and. I I just wasn't expecting to like it this much. I love the yeah. concept. I think the creep factor, no jump scares. But it's there. But it's like so scary. Mm-hmm. Like there's some moments where I'm like, oh hell no. They're like looking at a corner and there's like a figure there and you're like, what the fuck is happening? And bro? we watched it during the day. So it made it made it a little easier. Yeah. Oh yeah. If I was alone, I don't think I would watch this movie. Um, I don't know. No. <laughs> Cause it's like if they please with shadows a lot, and yeah. I'm like, oh, I can't do that. And I see shadows all the time. Yep. Mm-hmm. But it's fantastic movie. I I think everyone killed it in this movie. Um, I can't wait for the sequel. I honestly cannot wait for that. Yeah, yeah. Because I want to see how they're gonna expand this story mm-hmm. further. Um, but what did you think? I really liked it too. That's I think good. no notes actually, no complaints really. <laughs> Head empty, no notes. Yeah, like I was like, okay, I really don't have any complaints like at all. That That's might, good. That might be for like a review later. I was like, I was thinking like, how would you think? Because it was a little slow at the beginning. Because they were getting I, to I, know I, them. But I was, I was inter- I was a little lost of like what's happening because it opens very like, You're like oh, what shit. the fuck? Okay. <laughs> yeah. But then I was like, I, I kind of started catching on really quickly as as it went on. Yeah. And especially when they got to the party, I was like, okay, I see what's happening here. Yeah. Um, but I like. I wasn't bored. I was actually very captivated. That's good. That's mm-hmm. really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I was very... It, for anyone that hasn't watched it, it starts... A, not from the beginning. The beginning is pretty crazy. But it's not slow like other A24 movies, oh, I yeah. feel. Like, you know, like, they wait till the last 10 minutes. It's like, because it's, everyone's likable. Mm-hmm. Like, the thing is that, like, it, they're joking and you can kind of be like, oh, like, it's like a friend. They're friends and they're mm-hmm. kids, so they're fucking around and whatever. Yeah, but it's yeah. like, nothing happens mm-hmm. until, like, what, like, 30 minutes into the movie or something like the first like spook it kind of gets you introduced to everyone and what the kind of click is like yeah and then it starts off with the the hand stuff yeah call that a hand job yeah yeah uh, but you know we have mia um and we're pretty much following her story she mm-hmm. lost her mother due to a uh, suicide um so she's kind of dealing with that so she's kind of like the awkward friend right now or like no one really seems or let's just say that jade she has a friend named jade jade Mm -hmm. likes her but then jade has these other friends that are horrible for her Uh, for everybody yeah Haley and joss uh jade is also dating daniel yep daniel uh mia and jade seem that they're like a trouble yeah because mia has like a little crush on daniel but it was, was kind of like, like a childhood thing. It's right. what, that's what it sounded like. Mm-hmm. Like it just something happened. They held hands once, and yeah. but she, but inside she kind of like, damn, that's just gonna haunt. Right, right, right. And then Riley is Jade's little brother. Yeah, who they don't have a good relationship, but Riley has a good relationship with Mia, mm-hmm. Jade's best friend. Yeah. Uh, and then Sue is the mom of Riley and Jade, and. I yeah. think that's everyone that we pretty much follow and what's happening in the movie with that circle. Uh, so, <clears throat> uh, I said, yeah, I said Jade lost her mom. So, I didn't know that they did that, like, in Australia. Like, uh, like a, it's like a remembrance day. So, yeah. it's, I guess, I'm assuming it's been a year since mm-hmm. the death of the mom and... They're like it's like it looked like a funeral, so I thought it just had happened. It's so like it reminded wake. It's me like a wake, basically. But, but it wasn't. It's just they're all hanging out. Maybe they do it her. only the first year. You know what? Now that now that I now that we're talking about it, that's a norm. That's I've the Puerto Ricans do that too. Some of them do that. I've 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 had my grandmother go to. They call it. I forgot what they call it, but they they also do that where they go pray for someone on the anniversary of their death. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. I mean, Coco kind of does like a thing like that where they have like a whole thing where like they go and remember the mm-hmm. from Coco. The family. All I remember was the dog. Coco it was a dog in Coco. Wait, are we talking about the same Coco? The Poco. Oh no, wait. I'm thinking of in- what's the one with with the deaf people. Un poco loco. I'm thinking is of that it, song. Is, is it Coco? Coco? But there's the dog, right? They have the the, the dog. Is there a dog in And the dog is like painted. It goes to the bridge. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a dog in Yeah. Coco. Oh, it's I don't a, remember. It's a Mexican dog. Oh. Because mm-hmm. I really want one of those. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, like I hair, don't remember. I hairless, remember the song. The hairless Mexican dog. Oh, yes. I think you're right. You're, you're mm-hmm. right. But yeah, it's like in the movie where they kind of like 
They yeah. do like a remembrance of that. Oh dog yes, yeah, yes, yeah. I remember him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they have like a remembrance day, and it seems like right, Ry- uh, not Riley, Mia and her dad Max are like distant from each other. You can call them M and M. That's a good point. <laughs> but right now they're in separate bags. Yeah, yeah. So they're just MM. Yeah, they're just M. <laughs> so they're separate M's. Mother's milk. <laughs> You're ridiculous. I'm sorry. <laughs> trying to have fun. Here. But you can tell. I don't know if it was on purpose, mm-hmm. but it was interesting that you never really saw the dad. Yes. And it's like you slowly start mm-hmm. in getting introduced to the dad. Like he he was in obscured in shadow at first, mm-hmm. and then there's another conversation later, and he's like kind of blurred because it's kind of raining and i'm like it's maybe to show that mia's separated from her father she's also in a lot of bright clothing yes while her dad is not no he's like muted colors Mm -hmm. like muted blue grays even the house is very muted and Mm -hmm. dark but she's very big and spacious so it feels empty yeah and you know it's not in the movie but in the deleted scenes they make a point where she's the one that is the one taking care of the house because the dad is not yeah. It's not he's not there. Yeah. He's not really there. And the whole mystery that Mia has is that why did her mom do it? Mm-hmm. Did the mom do it because she was upset at them? Because you mm-hmm. know, that's like a common thing with someone if you lose someone from uh suicide, it's like you start feeling like maybe you just didn't do enough or something. Mm-hmm. So that's what Mia's kind of going through it. Um, and it's what she's going through. So she kind of found uh what do you call it like love i guess from jade's family so she kind of got introduced with that family and she kind of takes care of riley like Mm -hmm. riley riley uh and jade don't like each other very much so like they're very distant and and riley kind of just stayed with mia so they're like a cute little like brother and sister relationship because um, the first the first thing we meet him she's picking him up not the sister mm-hmm. because the sister forgot to pick him up yep and it's like he's such a sweet kid like mm-hmm. he's with this badass kid that like wants to smoke cigarettes and trying to force him to do it mm-hmm. and he's like trying to peer pressure him but does come back later for mm-hmm. mia and he's like no i don't i don't do that type of stuff mm-hmm. so it's like interesting to see that um they have that sort of relationship um and I don't know. It's just sweet kid. They're singing Rihanna. They're uh, having a uh, good ass uh, time. Baby, get your pop stars right. It's it's a Sia. Oh my god! I, you know I always confuse them with that fucking <laughs> it's Sia. I don't know. They sound the same. Heterosexual. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I just always think of Rihanna when I say I hear that song. It's chandelier. I'm gonna swing from the chandelier. Wow. I think Sia's Australian. Oh, she is. I think so. Oh, we'll see I you later. <laughs> <laughs> um but they're list they're they're uh singing sia yeah, she, she is, is. australian mm-hmm. wow damn yeah. with the australian references oh yeah brother Might as well. all we needed was real ripley showing up and it would have made the whole thing that been so funny just real randomly <laughs> <laughs> but let's do another australian reference because when they're driving back home there's oh, a yeah. dead ass can or a dying kangaroo baby Die kangaroo yeah and in the middle of the road mm-hmm. which reminded me of the movie us with the deer yes i thought it was a deer i was like wow they're doing the no, us I, thing they don't got they don't got they don't got those <laughs> that's us <laughs> deers are our kangaroos damn do you think they taste good they must know. eat kangaroo right i don't want to know well, <laughs> well we work with someone australian we should ask okay when i see him next time yeah I that's where we see him, him he's but, traveling yeah um but he's dying and basically riley is like we need to take you gotta kind of kill it get out of his misery yeah yeah. he's he's suffering so he's like run it over yeah again and and she's like all right get in the fucking car and they (laughs) go to do it she can't do it yeah she can't she's like she's too much of a good person Mm -hmm. and i love that she goes i'm just gonna drive around it the next person can fucking hit him (laughs) which i'm like i mean you could maybe try to move it yeah but i guess it's like that weird dilemma where it's like damn do you just leave it it's also a big animal or you can i, don't, I mean i don't know what you can call and be like, hey, yes true a big- i don't know if australia is like that uh, not yeah. not that advanced but like do they have those i'm assuming right i don't think so too like yeah. a wild animal because yeah, yeah. they're considered wild animals mm-hmm. so it's like i don't know also like they got snakes that just be showing up in your house that's true giant spiders 
Yeah. Oh, the spiders are fucked up. They, I'm surprised they haven't didn't show us one of those, like a giant ass spider. Wrong movie. I, I guess that's true. Mm-hmm. Maybe for another episode. Hell yeah, brother. Um, but yeah, they basically go to uh the house. So later, yeah, later in the movie they they get together, but then later they right Jade got invited to this party, and she, her mom is like. You, you, I know what you do when you're trying to sneak out. I know you're gonna go out, so just go. The mom is so fucking I funny because she's like, I don't give a fuck about mm-hmm. these kid damn kids, mm-hmm. and like she's like kind of mean to to Riley in a way. And I don't know if it's supposed to be like endearing, but it doesn't seem that way at first. I just think she's like the cool mom. Like I don't know, like she's mean but cool. But I got that after. At mm. first, I was like, why is she being so mean to Riley? Like, mm. Riley's just doing homework. She's like, can you get your shit off the fucking table and go somewhere else? And he's just like, all right. I mean, I get it. <laughs> go, why are you here? Do it in your room. <laughs> it's a dining room table. Why, why are you making a mess in my house? <laughs> my God. My mom was the same way. Oh, yeah. Okay. I guess mm-hmm. it's like that. But, yeah. So, she goes to this party. Mm-hmm. And then... Obviously, Mia it feels very out of place. She doesn't really know anybody there. Yeah, yeah. Until sure. she sees Daniel. Mm-hmm. Damn, Daniel. Yeah, and she's very touchy with him. But Daniel's a Christian. Christian. He's a Christian man. He don't do drugs. Nope, or have sex. Nothing. No. Nope. That man is clean, as we know. Until later. For right now. Mm-hmm. And they're just, I don't know, they're like weirdly touchy and jade's like they're just friends and, yeah yeah and yeah. like they're, she's like on top of him and then Haley's like <laughs> yeah just friends yeah mm-hmm. they L- held hands once. look at him oh, no. yeah look at him right now and yeah. she's just, <laughs> <I'm> just <kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> they're friends um but then they decide let's but, let's do the party yeah, uh, let's, party let's play, trick let's play talk to me which we kind of saw it earlier they were watching someone's snapchats and then that's what they're that's what they were playing that was like the cool thing like mm-hmm. oh they're doing this mm-hmm. and it feels like it's like a allegory kind of to drugs or yeah, alcohol yeah. or something Most like definitely because it's like they literally make it seem like that like i feel like i see snapchats like that with like people getting high well uh mia later on in the movie says how she felt that she felt like she was it was like glittery and she just felt so like she felt she felt good in she a way felt alive like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah like in euphoria she was eu- euphoric about it yeah yeah and she it's weird because she doesn't she she offered herself to do it yep first one. first one mm-hmm. and everyone was like oh shit okay let's yeah. go new girl and she does it and when she says talk to me mm-hmm. while she's holding mm-hmm. the hand she sees like a spirit or like a person like yeah. all fucked up like yep. dead in, right in front of her and she flips the fuck out mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but then they tell her like you're fine don't worry about it this is what you signed up for yeah just you just have to say let me in so that way you can experience yeah. it and she's also we should mention tied up to the tape to the chair yeah because they could go crazy they could yeah. and you only you 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 have 90 seconds <laughs> after if you go more than that i don't know what can happen yeah they, they say uh they like to stay in mm-hmm. so we don't know what that means yeah yeah um so yeah, she does it. She she is possessed. Um, her eyes turn all black. Yeah, the, her skin looks like bruised up. Mm-hmm. It's almost like she's turning into that dead body. Like it's in weird. In a way. Mm-hmm. In a way. Um, and I forgot she's taunting someone here. I for, I think it's Daniel who she's taunting. Um, oh yeah, because. I guess the spirit knows it knows about you're you. about you because mm-hmm. it's inside you. So mm-hmm. they start just exposing you, and yeah. she looks at Daniel and and he is it when what does she tell Daniel in here? I don't remember that. I don't know, but it's a little awkward because even Jay's like, it's like, what's mm-hmm. happening? Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, he's like, right, he's right behind you, mm-hmm. you, uh, you, and like she starts. I don't know. She's really fucking freaky. Yeah, but you would think if you have a ninety second limit. Let's not get close to 90 seconds. Yeah, let's take the hand away like at 60. Yeah. In case it starts it tries to fight back because that's what it does here. Yeah, it, it's like fighting back. Like they don't they don't want to let, let go. go and it starts going even more crazy and then Haley's like it's past 90 seconds. Yeah, they start trying to take the hand out at 80 seconds. But one person. One person. Everyone the, the else is like the, the strong guy just looking. Like what? Hell no! Nah, I would have fucking drop kicked her ass, <laughs> grab that hand, break Give me that hand, girl, break that mm-hmm. hand. You don't know what's gonna happen. Um, oh, we should say that apparently the hand is is a real hand of someone that that could, used to see ghosts. That used to t- see able, be able to talk and see ghosts. And what they did is covered it in ceramic. 
Yeah. Um, and then there's a second hand somewhere else around the world, somewhere else in the world. They don't just don't know where it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it could be that it's the left and the right, pretty much. Um, but yeah, she later on that night, that's when, you know, uh, Riley's having like a, some kind of nightmare. So he goes to try to be like, hey, Jay, can I sleep in your room? I'm mm-hmm. a, little, a little scared. And she yeah, says, cause Riley was fucking being like, he was like, you motherfucker. Oh, I pointed at they him. They pointed, pointed at him. You're right, you right. Comes back. <laughs> I oh, say. maybe they knew. Yeah, they, maybe knew. they knew. So yeah, so Jay decided, hell no, nah, brother, you go back to your room. I don't want of you course. in my room. Yeah, so you know he then goes to lay with me. Uh, I'm gonna touch my pussy. I don't want you in this damn room. Honestly, that's probably what she was doing. <laughs> I was, I was, you know, I it's scrolled, true though. I was, I was scrolling through the Twitter and I saw I saw this picture. It said, "This is what girls do when they say good night," and it was that. It was a girl. Yeah, but it was like a drawn picture. But like, I was like, oh, so that, that is that's what they be doing. I mean, it's like it's like the boys. It's like, oh, I'm bored. What's the what's the next thing I can do? He just masturbate. Yeah, and but, then you bored later. What do you do? Do it again. Again. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um. So then Riley th- stays with Mia mm-hmm. because Mia's just hanging around the house, I guess. Yeah. And Mia just brings up. Like, hey, sorry about what happened. Were you scared? And he's like, yeah, it freaked me out a little bit. Yeah, and this is what she tells him how amazing it felt. And yeah. how she saw her mother or felt her mom or something. Yeah, it was almost like she was close to her. Mm-hmm. So then the next day, Daniel comes over. This is where the mom is like, oh, so y'all having a party? Yeah. While I'm gone. Yeah, she's like, no, we're not. And I <laughs> loved it because she's wrong, but she is fucking good. Because she goes yeah. up to Riley. And he's like, hey, what time is the party? Uh Jay just told me. I just want to make sure I got the time right. Honestly, though, that's really smart. That's something I would fucking. I would have been like, yeah, it's a seven. I'm, and she's like, oh, motherfucker, I told your bitch yeah, ass. Ga- <laughs> ga- you gotta gaslight your kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you got, parents gaslight their kids anyways. Exactly. Santa Claus. Yeah. Yup. Easter Bunny. Yup. Elves. The elves. The fucking Tooth Fairy. Tooth Fairy. Yep. Gaslit. Yep. So it's like you might as well continue it. Chucky. Okay, that was you. That's I'm sorry you have trauma. It's okay. That's not my fault. I was exposed to him. Look, look he's everywhere now. <laughs> he literally is. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, so Daniel tries it this time mm-hmm. and he talks to Jade. Yeah. And it's saying to her, like, I don't like the I don't like when you touch me, it makes my dick soft and just yeah. and it's like, Oh, he's real Christian. Yeah, and then even Jade was like, Damn, he motherfucker's mean Either that and then or gay. Maybe, but then so he looks at <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> so then he looks at Mia mm-hmm. and he starts going, ah, oh, ah, oh, yeah. and he starts humping the fucking floor. And I'm like, what <laughs> is happening? But then here comes Cookie, the bulldog. <laughs> the bull, the sweetest dog. Yeah, and that the bulldog starts making out with him and he's making with it back. And, and grabbing like, it like if it's like someone's back. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's like weird. He, he got it in with a dog called that shit bestiality. <laughs> Mm-hmm. He got that shit in, so they make him stop. He's like ill, ill, ill. They put the dog away like it was the dog's fault. Yeah, I thought the dog was possessed. <laughs> I Honestly, thought they like transferred. That would have been cool. That would be pretty funny. But <laughs> then we get a montage of everyone playing. They're all having fun. Mm-hmm. Daniel was upset because everyone's filming it. Obviously, he leaves, but he leaves. Then he's <laughs> back in the montage, which I was like. Wait, something happened in between this. Yeah, when did he come back? Yeah, he's like, does it again. Yeah. Like he, maybe he kind of was like, okay, I'm overreacting and comes back. Maybe. Um. So then after the montage, Riley wants to try, but Jada's like, no, you're too young. Yeah, Let's you're not, not even 15. It. Yeah, and he's like, no, what if it's just like 60 seconds? Yeah. Or, you know, less. And then... And Jade's like, no, dude, like, mm-hmm. no, like, this could fuck you up. Yep. But then Mia's like, it's not that big of a deal. Mia does kind of cross the line here. I was like, okay, Mia, chill the fuck down. Mm-hmm. That's her sis. That's his bro- the her brother. Because she goes, you don't have to such be such a bitch about everything, Jade. And I'm like, damn, girl. Is, no, are you possessed? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, are you possessed? But at the same time, it's like, you need to stop treating your brother like shit all the time. Even though this was the wrong time for that. But yeah. at the same time, like, Jade, stop being a bitch. Yeah. But I mean. What I the just, fuck did he do to you? But this ain't just regular drugs. Like, you're not no, smoking no. weed. You're getting possessed. Yeah. So it's like, let's not do that. But Jade ends up leaving. Like an idiot. And leaving him alone. Mm-hmm. So then Mia makes the deal. Okay, let's do 50 seconds mm-hmm. and you can do it. Yep. And he's super happy about it. So he does it. Yep. And it turns out to be Mia's mother. 
And so then Mia's like, around. they're like, oh, it's fast 50 seconds. No, 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 no. It's my mom. So she leaves him. This kid starts smashing his head against the fucking table. Like a cor- like the corner of it. Mm-hmm. Just just over and over and over again. Uh, At one point, he goes flying off. And then he's going to do it again and finish himself off. Not like that. And <laughs> Jade comes over and like blocks it from him hitting the table again from mm-hmm. killing him. She breaks her hand. And they break the break the hand off of him, but they don't. I don't think the candle was blown here. Yeah, so we we'll don't a point later about this. Yeah, because they have to put, uh, light up a candle, and they, they every time they just turn it off. Mm-hmm. Like we get always close ups of and that we find happening. Out what the candle, why the candle's a thing at the end of the movie. Yeah, in a way. Um. So yeah, then he ends up at the hospital. The mom is super upset about all this. Yeah, she's fucking furious, and she's like, "Get the mm-hmm. fuck out of here! I'll call the cops." Police got involved. Yeah, they were taking police statements, and everyone had. And if you're a minor, they called your parents, except Daniel. Daniel's eighteen. Yep. So, is he a certified lover boy? Certified pedophile? Wow, wow, wow. Get it? Because Jade's in high school. But they're. He could be in school with them. I don't think he is. But. I think that's why the mom didn't, didn't like him. Oh, maybe. Because he was older. But that's okay. He, they're like, what, 17? He's 18? It's like right there. We don't know, bro. My man was 17 when I met him. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> wow. I was 18. <laughs> we no, were... I, think that's like, I think that's called like Romeo and Juliet law, where it's like, if you're like, if yeah, you're like just... 18 and you're 17, then I guess it's okay if it's okay with family or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Some weird shit like that it's interesting how that's a that's like a specific well because it can happen like right in high school like if you're in high school and you yeah, yeah i guess that makes one sense. can graduate and the other one stays behind a grade because they're a grade lower that's but true it can happen yeah that's what i, I that's think true. that's what i was just like oh he's 18 but he's probably still in school i didn't, with them or I didn't something. think about it until then i was like oh, I want. it's not that but it's not bad I know, Especially I'm, just being, when, I'm just being silly uh, no i know <laughs> i know but it's fine um but then Daniel, she, just, she just can't go clubbing with him. <laughs> Daniel can't even go clubbing. You have to be 21. No, well, I, I went clubbing. Oh, I guess. They, you they, just can't drink. You can't drink. That's true. They, they put the, the little X on mm-hmm, you ass. Mm-hmm. Damn. Sorry. Sorry, Jade. Well, would you say the gay clubs are cool like that? The straight clubs are like, no, you have to be 21 so you can buy the girls oh. drinks, which I'm like, okay. That's, that's, that's a good point. Or you got to get the fuck out of here by nine o'clock. <laughs> Um, straight clubs suck yeah they do I don't Uh, blame you but we don't know if Riley is okay right Riley is like barely alive at this point so this is kind of like an insidious scenario yeah where his body might be in you know limbo but the spirits are trying to get in and possess over him which we kind of do see later on Mm -hmm. um so and then what's happening also with me is that she's also still seeing things because she did touch his hand. Yeah, she was holding he was his still hand. Possessed. Yeah. So we, well, she might have been affected, but we can also say that she was already, already. affected because she yep. went over the ninety seconds. Yeah. Um. So it's like there's a lot of questions right now. It's like what's mm, happening right here? Yeah. She sees her mom. She has visions of her mom throughout the hospital. Right. And she's confused she just doesn't know what's happening yes uh and we find out that she kept the hand yeah she kept the hand she meets daniel oh daniel picks her up yeah and, and they go to her house they go to her house because daniel can't go back home mm-hmm. so at this point this is like one of the creepiest i think in my opinion shot of the movie where she wakes up from a dream and there's like a fucking shadow figure in the corner of the room and it like crawls really creepily like towards her and it's like this old lady like all fucked up and <laughs> what bruised you say? Up. she's having a wet dream about daniel oh yeah she until she sees her mama crumbing out of the bathroom dead yep and then then that's when she sees that figure she wakes up and we're like okay yeah she's not okay at this point but this demon kind of freaked because <laughs> they, they're sleeping like what 69 they 96 they, yeah they're 96 they're, they're 69ing the sleep because his feet are long and her feet are to his head. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's like she looks at the spirit and the spirit grabs his daniel's feet and just start she, yeah up and down the, i was like okay i was like whoa all that only feet just deep throating that fucking foot yep but <laughs> then Daniel wakes up and it's her. It's Mia. It's Mia doing it. He's like, Mia. Mia. 
and Mia's just ah, ah, yeah. ah, on his feet like and crazy like, that wasn't me that was a demon yeah I, I love it he's like you were just sucking on my fucking feet and he's she's like no it wasn't yeah, he's a good Christian boy so he's like I need to get the fuck out of here you're done like, I'm not a virgin anymore <laughs> God <laughs> um but she right now fucking freaked out yeah and where she kind of talks she plays now by herself mm-hmm. and sees her mom yeah because she's she's over she's kind of by herself at this mm-hmm. point and her mom is like there with her she goes to sleep with her mom yeah she even talks to her and says mom why did you do it and she's mm-hmm. like well i didn't do it on purpose mm-hmm. i didn't do it on purpose she keeps saying that she's so, gaslighting her maybe maybe not she's just getting that resolution she didn't have that's true mm-hmm. so it's like at this point she's had a good night with her mama yep so everything but she also like tells her that riley needs help yeah riley needs help and, uh, and then it cuts to riley in the hospital bed like which I'm we kind of get the whole uh, allegory of the kangaroo and yeah. Riley. yeah yeah yep. it's the baby kangaroo mm-hmm. so at the hospital riley's getting a bath from his mama and sister but the mama leaves and then he kind of like gets possessed and he starts smashing his head which is more. weird it's like he comes in and out yeah like sometimes he's just not there and then sometimes mm-hmm. he just gets possessed and then he salt burns the drain of the hospital floor covered um, in blood yeah slicking it mm-hmm. smashing his fucking head in he biting himself and shit like yep. crazy and he's laughing like mm-hmm. while he's doing it it's so fucked up so we cut to everyone getting together and we find that and Maya tells everyone that she's still seeing stuff because the other night she accidentally sucked daniel's toes and everyone's like what huh? and jay <laughs> like the fuck what do you mean you were sleeping with mia and, and, and like, Haley's like wait what do you mean sucking his toes yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> but it's like yeah i slept with him but we didn't it wasn't sex sleeping it was sleeping sleeping i was just in the same bed but we weren't doing nothing yeah we were just sleeping so it's like is that considered we sleep slept together we've slept together yeah we slept with other people in the same bed. Yeah, we did, unfortunately. Call that a sleeping orgy. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> We're but, watching The Conjuring. Was it The Conjuring? We're watching a movie. Yeah. We, it, it, fell, oh, yeah. We, we all, all fell asleep, fell asleep on, in, the, in, the bed. in the bed. Yeah, yeah. that's true. My bed's been through it. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but then, uh, so yeah, so then we find out that Jaws got the hand from Duckett, who was the guide in the beginning of the movie that we should say stabbed his brother and then and stabbed, stabbed himself, himself in the face yep. um so that's where he got the hand from because ducky gave it to jaws because he said that he didn't need it no more because he was already seeing people without the hand yep bars because he <laughs> there's a lot of drama in this fucking movie yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um but basically it's, i it's seemed to allude that ducky went past the 90 days mm-hmm. or 90 seconds 90 days the fuck what is this the ring <laughs> 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 so it's like ducky was past what me is going through basically yeah so this is where we kind of get the whole you know riley could be in limbo and the spirit yep. are trying to take him because we also do see i think mia goes into like the spirit realm a little bit because she goes okay let's just do the seance because we don't i don't think we turned off the candle right right so right. they're like yeah i don't remember if we did so they go back they try to do the talk mm-hmm. to me motherfucker can't even talk but they think okay turn it on light it out mm-hmm. okay he should be good but nothing's happening so they try it again they try it again and try it again but then this is where riley's like okay i if he's not there i can probably see him in the spirit realm mm-hmm. and he says riley can i talk to you and a little girl shows up named riley and she's like hey i can help you talk to him and she's the spirit says let i'll let you in mm-hmm. and mia goes inside the spirit and they go into a spirit realm and she sees riley like being groped or I don't by a know, lot of like different demons demons and it's really like disorienting and it's crazy well, we should say it's really dark in there and yeah. the only lighting is a candle light the candle light mm-hmm. and all you see is just riley just going through a lot right now yeah. and she comes out scared she kicks her fucking hand away mm-hmm. and she's like i i don't know what's happening like like it's just like what the fuck do you do at this point mm-hmm Take him out of his misery. Yeah, I guess so. So, Mia goes home. She finds her dad. Her dad confesses to her that he found a note. And who wrote the note? The mom. The mom. Before she passed. Rhea Ripley! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, the note basically says that, you know, she... She's, I'm she sorry. Is, yeah, I'm sorry. I, You know, she did do it on purpose. Yeah. And that... She's not hopeless. Mm-hmm. She's hopeful that they can be happy. And, and to not they, know that she's not 
in pain anymore. Yep, and that they can, um, you know, forgive her for what she did. So then, you know, Mia goes into her room crying, and she sees her mama as a ghost. And then the mama ghost or the demon ghost, she I goes, should say, uh, uh-uh. uh, she starts gaslighting her. Yeah, she's like, uh, uh-uh, uh, I didn't do that shit. On bitch. purpose, your daddy, your daddy wrote that note and lied about <laughs> it. This is this is like Jersey this, is, this is Jersey. This is messy. This is real messy here. <laughs> and like, she goes into a room. He goes. That man back there, that's not even your daddy. No. And I was like, wait, what the fuck is happening? So as this is happening, there's a man banging on her door trying like to get in hard. screaming. But then we see the dad, what he's actually doing. He's actually on the couch crying. Yeah. So it's this whole thing. And then the man, the I'm going to say the demon daddy comes in the room and starts choking her. And I'm like, what's going to happen is that the real father is going to walk in the room and she's going to stab the real father. So that's exactly what happened wow what I you're, just so, said. you're so good i was so good at that wow i was so then you know <laughs> she kills him yep and it's, it was just so sad like mm-hmm. uh, like it's like damn the one moment that they got to share together yep it's he died you like know, this is one of those is like she didn't deserve this no, at all i feel so bad for her like it sucks but at that, the same time she made a dumb she made a dumb decision earlier in the movie that made that got her to this point. yeah it's like that one mm-hmm. fucking fatal mistake mm-hmm. you know that happened and it's like i guess it's like very situ like her situation that was happening she felt like she had to do it to stand out from yeah. the crew you know because she was so like she's an outsider basically mm-hmm. so it's like you kind of have to understand that she was put in that situation mm-hmm. and it kind of sucks and then she's being fucking gaslit by her mama ghost yeah so it's like what the fuck so she here i guess figures out that's like the only way to stop this is really to like get rid of riley so yeah. we're gonna get rid of riley so she goes to the hospital but she calls jade and says, hey meet me at home i know how to help him blah blah yeah because riley's suffering right now and every second is agony yeah so jade goes to her house but turns out that she wasn't home she actually went to the hospital and tricked jada coming to her house yep. so she, you know she got time to get rid of her brother yep so so she goes over there and grabs an, the scissors that she killed her daddy with covered in blood and she goes to stab him and she's screaming i'm surprised no nurse was like ma'am can you shut the fuck up for a second <laughs> but she sees like a demon guy or like some old man and that's like telling her like, oh, you you can just put me out of it. And so the oh, guy that's oh, just sleeping in the oh, bed. Yes, that's true. Because she sees that's an old true. man. Yeah. But then she doesn't do it. And what happens? She turns around and the kangaroo is like there and he hops away. Yeah. That's so that allegory is like take him out of his misery. So then yeah. she gets the idea of like the kangaroo got hit by a car. Riley gonna get hit by a car. <laughs> but not my fault. Not my fault. I just pushed him. So she sees him. She rolls him. She sees him rolling. Because Jay then sees him rolling. And she's not hating. She's screaming. She's literally <laughs> screaming. And then it's like a highway. So there's mm-hmm. just cars passing. And then Jay gets there. But then he sees the demon while he's on the wheelchair. But then it turns back into Riley. Yep. And he, she's looking at the cars. And all we see is like hands kind of just moving around. A car gets fucking hit, yeah, crashes. We're like in the POV of inside of a car. Yeah, and it crashes. And when they look back, Mia had thrown yeah, herself. I was like, God damn, she really threw him. <laughs> yeah, I was like, damn, no yeah. fucks given. Because one thing about Raga Raga, they don't give a fuck about them kids. No, they don't show up. So, <laughs> yeah, we, Riley's on the ground in the middle of the street. We kind of see in the back Jaden and Riley hugging. But then Mia gets up and we're like, is she dead? Yeah, Did she I was die? like, damn, she looked fucked up. But then, from but nobody's highway, reacting. Nobody's reacting from highway. We cut hospital. Yep, I was like, oh fuck. And as she's walking go. through the hospital, we see that Riley got better. Yep, lights are going off. As it's she's almost like time's through. moving forward. Mm-hmm. Yes, because they do say that time in the in the off in the in, in the other world yeah. goes slower than in the, the shadow world. realm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they, they, I've heard this thing before. Where like when you die, you're when. 20 seconds up in heaven is a whole life down here. Bitch, where'd you heard of that? I've heard that before. Who I don't, said that? I don't remember where I heard it from, but I've heard it before. <laughs> I've never. No? Yeah. Who kept oh, track of that? that time, like, go, time goes slower up there than it does here. Interesting. Which is, I've seen it, and I've also seen it in shows when, oh my God, where have I seen it? There's an example. Bitch! And someone, <laughs> someone, someone's dead, but then they come back and time has passed, like, ridiculously uh, i don't know yeah. well i know there's like interstellar where it's like but they're in space they're not like in heaven mm. or whatever but i know that time moves different oh this is silly the kong show the the godzilla show yeah you know how godzilla has that world under the other world oh yeah okay so in the shows spoiler if anyone's gonna see it 
the oh uh, monarch monarch the the guys in there for like a week or two but a whole bunch of years passed in the real world but they're not in heaven I know, but that's an example. <laughs> yeah, 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 but like, mm-hmm. I, I, I just never heard of like that in heaven. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, it, I don't know where, but I've heard it before. Yeah. It's like twenty seconds in heaven's but, a whole life down. Here. But that's what it seems like, because it's mm-hmm. like she's just walking, and it's like Riley's already better. Like and that walking, motherfucker could have walk, walk, yeah, walking out of the hospital. Yeah, and mm-hmm. then she also sees her dad like walking around. So you're like, oh shit. But because everything's going dark. Every every light's turning mm-hmm. off, and it's like everyone just moves past them, and. Then, Everything gets darker and darker. Riley's dad gets into an elevator, which I don't know what that means in the afterlife. Yeah, and then oh, he ascends. He ascends. He goes to heaven because he didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was actually a good guy. That's crazy. And she stays in, in limbo. I guess hell, if you want to call. So he, I'm assuming he dies. I think that because we do see that he's still alive breathing when Jade gets to the house. But I'm assuming he probably dies. Yeah. Because then, he, then he's in the afterlife. Right. Because we do see... You know, Sue and her family walking out of the hospital, but he goes into an elevator and yeah. then I'm assuming goes up. Yeah. So he probably just, that's mm-hmm. his way of just going. Going up to heaven. Yeah. Going up to heaven and all the lights turn off and all you see is a candle, a match lit mm-hmm. and you see Mia just standing there and she turns around and then it's a candle just there. And, and there's a hand. And there's a hand and she grabs it. There's some motherfucker in, in like Greece. Yeah. And, and speaking in Greek mm-hmm. and being like, talk to me basically. I let yeah. you in. And the movie fucking ends. So that tells us that when you die and you stay in this limbo, dude, that, you're the ones. You're the one that that the, that ending is so good. It was so good. Oh my god, it was so good. Incredible ending. Mm-hmm. But that's basically it. That's it. That was talk to me. Woo. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Uh, but that would do it with every movie. We go on Letterbox and give it a review and a rating. So, Carlos, what is your review oh, and sorry. rating? I'm not ready, like always. Um, anyways, I gave it a five star. Oh like, shit! I okay. have no complaints at okay. all. I was very entertained the whole time. Um, I said I really enjoy this film. It's crazy to me. I used to watch these directors make crazy videos on YouTube to not seeing this horror masterpiece. Creepy, haunting, and a fresh idea on this modern horror movie kept my interest the whole time to watch everything unfold okay i love that mm-hmm. love that for you thank you um i gave it a four and a half with a heart mm-hmm. i said i was not expecting to love this movie as much as i did the characters are likable but like in real life they can piss you off a story about unresolved issues with loss and affect everyone in your life seriously creepy without the jump scares mm-hmm. literally all i've wanted in a horror movie like in one like i think this yeah. is like such a fucking fantastic horror movie and i cannot wait for the sequel like i am so excited i think it's called talk to me too like i think it's literally just called called that talk to me again talk- <laughs> like so it literally incredible i i i want to watch it again i'll be completely honest yeah i'll watch like, it again yeah mm-hmm. not today we'll do it another time okay okay no we got <laughs> other movies to watch today but that's true um so Mm-hmm. Who's the daddy of the movie? This is a hard one. Oh, that's true. Who do I like? That's the point. I'm like, I don't know who I like. Like, mm-hmm. the dad kind of didn't do nothing, but he wasn't in the movie that much. He was, like, in three scenes or four. On it. And, like, the friends, none of them were likable. I like, like the, I like Mia. I, I like the mom. Oh, Sue. Sue's was pretty great. Mm-hmm. Sue's great. Yeah, she's in Sabrina, the the Netflix version. She's the aunt, one of the aunts, and I love her. Yeah, she was mm-hmm. fantastic in this movie. I I really liked her. Um, I'm gonna say Mia. I okay. mean, she has her problems, but like, she was kind of cool. I like, I really liked her. Mm-hmm. I really liked her a lot. I think she was sick. Um, there's no f- kill that you can really like the dad. No one really, no one really dies. <laughs> there's no like, death the really. End, it's the end, yeah, the but I guess best scene. Oh. Okay. I love the Riley. That fucking freaked me out. The, the, well, no, when, oh, when he gets possessed. When he gets possessed. Yeah, okay. that was fucking freaky. Just because he looked so fucking crazy, and then like him smashing his head is so like disorienting because it's like a kid as well, and mm-hmm. like he didn't do anything wrong. I like I like the the lady in the corner. That was I always yeah. Hate shit like that. Yeah, that was fucked up, and the way she was creeping. Oh, mm-hmm. the sucking the toes. That was my favorite part, bro. I can't oh. wait to think about it later. Okay. <laughs> Freak. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. So you know what time it is? What? It's time for the roulette. Of horror. Lots of horror. 
Was Hell that one of yeah. the segments? Yep. Yeah, that's okay. it. Yes, like every episode. <laughs> Make sure. All right, so right here we have the roulette of horror. All right, go ahead. Ready? God damn. Talk to me, baby. Talk to me, baby. The cube. <laughs> just cube. Oh, just cube. What? I've never seen that. Me neither. It's from the 90s. Uh, oh yeah, it should be streaming. Let me see. So this was a this was a listener pick. It's on Tubi. Oh yeah, oh so, Tubi, perfect. Yeah, so if you want to watch it, it's on Tubi, Pluto, Amazon, and Plex TV and Freevee, all for free. Nice. All right, sweet. I can't wait. So Cube from 1997. It's a sci-fi horror. Oh, okay, interesting. Mm-hmm. I, I I'm super down. Can't is that the, watch it. this is not the one with like the Cube Prison? Oh, I don't know. This is where the cabin in the woods get the, got the idea from, I believe. Oh, really? Oh, I think okay. so. All oh, right, sick. Yeah. Okay. Cube. So, Cube next week. <laughs> and for all the mommies out there, we have our horror mommy shirt. Yes, we uh, do. Our mer- uh, merch. merch on below. Mm-hmm. So, go click that. If you want to support us directly, that's the best way to do it. If not, just listening, leaving a comment and a review. Let us know. Would yeah. you speak to a. Would you talk to me? Would you talk to me? Talk to me, baby. Yeah. Or to Vin Diesel. Be careful. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> He's gaslighting you. Don't do it. No, don't do it. <laughs> She's so fucking beautiful. Oh, uh, thank you. Um, But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's it. So thank you so much for watching and listening. And remember, stay spooky, stay sexy, but don't talk to them. See you in your dreams. Talk to me. Wow. Bye guys. Talk to me, baby. Talk to me, baby.